Hello YouTube, this is David here with David Plays X89, and today's video is going to be about the PS5 expansion bay. It is currently September 15th, 2021, and the update came out of beta and is now live for the PS5, so you could install a SSD into the expansion bay. And we're going to be doing the installation in this video, and we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Aorus Gen 4. 7000 s and if you're new to my channel and enjoy some of the content i have on there already please subscribe and like my videos and now we're going to start the unboxing so now we're going to be unboxing the ssd let's get this plastic off And we always have a hard time unboxing. Maybe this will be a bit easier. So there's the box. So here's the specs on the back of the box. It is a solid state PCIe 4.0 interface with max sequence reads up to 7,000 megabytes and max sequence writes up to 5,500. So this includes a heat sink I got it from Newegg for 180 It was on sale. So I had it here for a few days, but was unable to even use it because I didn't qualify for the beta firmware. I guess it ended and I couldn't use the beta firmware, but now the firmware is out of beta and I could use my drive. So the reason I went with the Aorus over the Western Digital, the 980 Pro and the other competitors was basically the price. Um, this was 180 on sale for me to get the Western Digital. I don't remember the model number, but it was like $60, $70 more to get it with the heatsink. And it's not much faster than this. You're looking at seconds of a difference. So it didn't really worth it for me to dish out $60 to $80 more to get one of the higher end ones for a few seconds difference maybe even a second difference i mean i don't have the specs right in front of me but i think this was the best value to get with a heatsink so let's finally get this out of the box there's something stopping it here we go let's put that aside and let's Open this up. So there it is. With heatsink installed, here is the Aura 7000 Gen 4 SSD. So let's get this into the PlayStation and we're going to be doing a video on that. Okay, so we're going to install the SSD, so I'm going to take the cover off the PlayStation. Just close it. There we go. And I would recommend that you clean uh, the back of this while you have this open, or try to clean out your fans. It would be a good time to get some unwanted dust. And now if you can see right here, this is where the expansion bay is. So we're going to open it up. The only tools you need is a screwdriver. And I have some RGB lights, so I'm trying not to remove that. And then there's a screw in here. Okay, so now we're going to remove this screw. Let's get the screw out. And let's set it aside. And now your SSD. So your SSD is going to go into, into this slot. If you're good with computers, you should know how to install this. It's very simple. So you go into this, drop your SSD in, push all the way and tilt up. And it should be snug into place. Now we're going to put our screw back. And this is the mounting screw. If we don't lose it, So 
So this should secure our SSD. I'm gonna hold it down. And we're going to screw it all the way to the bottom. It should be nice and tight. And we're gonna peel our plastic. So now we're going to get our cover on. Should we have it the right way? And we'll buy RGB cables. And just one more long screw. Pretty cool that Sony actually put the PlayStation button symbols on the screw. This is like the coolest screw I've ever seen. So we're gonna get this back together and we're gonna fire up the PS5 and see what our results are. Okay, so we finished the installation of our SSD, the one terabyte for the PS5, and we're gonna fire it up for the first time. So here goes. If you notice the blue lights on the PS5, that's the Extreme Rank kit. I'll possibly do a review on that in the future. I think they look pretty good. So I'm using my uh, PC monitor for this, not the TV, so you guys can get a better view at you know what's happening. So we're still on a black screen. Okay, so to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format your M.2 SSD, all data will be deleted. If you want to continue using your PS5 without formatting your M.2 SSD, turn off your PS5 and remove your M.2 SSD. Note that saved data, screenshots, video clips can't be saved in your M.2 SSD storage. Okay, so we're going to format it. So we're now formatting the drive. The read speed of your M.2 is as follows. If you experience problems while playing a game installed in M.2 SSD storage, try installing it in console storage. So its read speed is 6,549. So we're okay with that. Your SSD has been formatted. To change where your games are installed, go to settings, storage, installation, location. To safety remove your M.2 SSD, turn off your PS5 first, obviously. So that's it. That is the installation right there. And we're not getting 7100 speeds. the storage and you can see the M.2 we have the full one terabyte size and it's coming up as gigabyte GP hyphen AG70 S1 TB so there goes our installation and we've done our unboxing of the Aorus Gen 4 7000 SSD um, thank you guys for watching if you do like my content, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And there should be more content coming soon.